Well, for almost two years now, we have been using this time in our newscast to highlight the problems our environment is grappling with every day and how we all can really help make things better. And now a new exhibition in Fort Lauderdale is highlighting a group of local artists who use planet friendly techniques to create engaging work to inspire all of us to take a closer look at the footprints we leave behind. Here's tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure. We're not gonna be able to just continue to pull, pull, pull from the planet. So that's why I just try to use as many things as that already exist as possible. Sustainability and saving our planet on full display at Fort Lauderdale's ArtServe. The museum and incubator space just launched a new exhibition, Art Interventions for Environmental Resilience. The concept of the show is what can our artists do for upcycling art, reusing materials that they found in the environment. 15 South Florida artists were carefully selected. The theme of the show not just reflects in their work, but also in their process. These artists are, you know, trying to work against overconsumption. So they're using things and recycling and upcycling things to create something better. I'm reusing canvases. I'm taking old brushes that would have normally been thrown away and, and gluing them into my canvas. It's just kind of the way I've always been. I'm Upcycling and repurposing are part of Scott Hemian's creative DNA. The artist and art teacher repaints over his students' used canvases, scraping off old work to make something new. This is not virgin canvas. No, no, this was part of a student project that I did last year where I had the kids cutting out uh, these circular pieces of paper. The show underscores the urgency of daily global headlines, warning all of us about the challenges our planet is facing, our ocean drowning in plastic pollution, record high temperatures, and rapidly rising sea levels. So is this piece about climate change? Yes. Yeah. It's about climate change. Artist William Bach incorporates fossils and minerals, a discarded typeset drawer, even a cow skull to sound the alarm on the urgent need for all of us to reduce our greenhouse emissions before it's too late. Yes, it's natural that the oceans and the Earth's topography has changed, but why would we do anything that accelerates that? For scientists turned emerging artist Sarah Sesher Bartra, it's a chance to use art to engage an audience who might not be conscious to the role we all play in restoring balance to our natural world. As a citizen, we have responsibility, but I feel like an, as an artist, the responsibility is even higher. And if we are not doing that, who is going to do it, right? It is art that begs you to notice it. Take a closer look and see what's really there. I was using a lot of environmental resources, so I felt the need to upcycle paper. Silvana Arbach uses discarded food boxes that she cuts and snips to create something beautiful. I call this piece from tree to tree because paper comes from trees and I wanted to do something with nature to create awareness of the things that we trash and we can convert into art. This truly is amazing because the diversity of it I think is what's so amazing. The minds of the artists to create that, that's something that only artists can do. And if we approach people visually by letting them respond to stimulus, that then they're gonna have a reaction to it that might be more visceral than us telling them how they should think. The work challenges the observer to step up and do better. The fate of the planet depends on it. I hope I can inspire other artists to do something like that, to utilize what we already trash and turn it into art as an statement. Not just other artists. This is what the show is challenging us all to do. Be more conscious with the everyday choices we make as consumers. Do we really need that plastic water bottle? Do we really need another new shirt? What do I have right now that I can upcycle and reuse? We all have to find a way to be less wasteful. Our planet is depending on it. Art Interventions for Environmental Resilience is at ArtServe through March 17th. More info, scan that QR code. It'll take you straight to the Don't Trash Art Treasure section on Local 10. Dot com. The mission is so important, oh the statement goodness. is so important, and the creativity is out of this world. Out of this world. Yeah. I mean, so creative to come up with those fantastic ideas and, and love it. And again, this is something Beautiful. that we can all do every single day. Yeah.